Do you remember the game Life Force? Or perhaps you remember it differently as Gradius? Well, I've made a tutorial that will teach you how to make this type of game. It's going to be in two parts. The first part is going to focus mainly on how to control your ship up and down and display the correct animations. This is meant for beginners, as you advanced users would know, already know how to do that. But the second part is going to be for you, the advanced users. And so a little trick that I've learned, I was a little hesitant on whether or not I wanted to show this to you, but I've learned how to make a dynamic boss without much coding. And so you'll get a little treat with that. Other aspects of this game are taught in other tutorials, so I'm not going to go through them. This is also a two-player game if you want to slap in a second ship. I've already made him. He might have a bug or two, but for the most part I think he works. You should download the game file just so you can hear the alien voice I put on this ship. He's talking to me right now. Okay, so you'll notice here that the boss turned around, he has a unique attack, and he also um, takes damage. He can t see how he can take damage on his, his cannon, uh, and when he turns around, let's see if I can get through him here. I destroyed the cannon, and if I'm able to get through these yellow beams, woo, then I'm able to kill the heart of the beast. Ramming speed! Oh! I guess there's no collision on the ship. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> okay, so... In the second tutorial, I'll, I'll tell you how I made this dynamic boss here. He's actually multi-different pieces, but they all flow together, so it's pretty cool. Well, anyway... Let's go ahead and open the Player Fire play Player 1. All this other junk controls the collisions and the ship health and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you the beginners how to make the animation display correctly. So let's go to the up key, the up event, and when I hit up, it's simple. You just put the image speed to 1, and you set a vertical speed. The vertical speed represents the direction the, the ship is going. So I go negative 1, which would be, ne which would be up on the x-axis. And also, I set an image speed to 1. Now, that's important because whenever I push up, I want the animation to play. Well, which reminds me that in the create event, I have to set the image speed and image index to 0 because I don't want the image to play when I'm controlling my ship. I want it to be a still image. Because in my sprites, if you open up my... There it is. If you open up my sprites, you'll notice that I have two graphics. I have ship one down and ship one up. And if we take a look at that, you'll notice that the image is he's going down. So, th so that uh, little piece of code here, code here prevents the image from moving. Okay, so let's go back to the up key. So the image is playing when I hit up, and also the same thing for when I hit down. Image speed is equal to one, and the vertical speed is also equal to 1 because I want him to move down on the x-axis. Now when I press up, I want to change the sp I want to make sure that I'm playing the correct sprite image. So I want to change the sprite to ship 1 up when pressing up. I want to change the sprite to ship 1 down when pressing down. Now when I stop pressing up and down, I want the animation to stop. So that's why I created these commands. When I release up, I want the image speed to be 0, so the animation is no longer playing, and the image index to be 0. Image index determines which file that you, you want. Uh, if I put 4 here, then he would be in a turning motion. So image 0 is really the first frame of the file. When I release down, same thing. Image speed 0, image index 0. And that's it. Now move on to the next tutorial and you'll see the surprise I have waiting for you.